It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 20th of April. I'm James Spann. Summer-like weather again today with a few isolated storms this afternoon. A more organized rain and storm event will take place this weekend. Coming up, we'll talk about the placement and the timing. And we turn noticeably cooler Sunday and Monday. Here's the water vapor satellite view. It's the ridge. That's the reason temperatures have been above average here in recent days. And again, like yesterday, a few little pop-up showers or storms could fire this afternoon. Many places will be dry. We are in the 60s to start the day. We expect mid-80s today. No records, but that's about 10 degrees above average. The air cooler over the northern and western states. And again, we start to feel that on Sunday when highs drop back in the 60s. On the watch warning map, flash flood watches for parts of Oklahoma and some of the adjacent states. Also, some dense fog issues down in deep south Alabama as the day begins. Severe weather outlook for today and tonight, a risk of severe storms from near Amarillo, Texas to Buffalo, New York. We have an enhanced risk, including uh, Indianapolis and Cleveland and Detroit. No severe weather problems expected here. Tomorrow, there is a marginal risk of severe weather for extreme North Alabama, part of a larger area from Texas to North Carolina and Virginia. That's with a surface front dropping in from the north. And then on day three, Saturday, got a risk of severe weather across the southeastern states. The standard slight risk over parts of central Mississippi. For Alabama, just a marginal risk. That's the lowest end threat for about the northern two-thirds of the state. And of course, we'll discuss this in detail as we go along. And the rain for the next seven days. Down at the Thursday morning of next week, and we'd like to see more than this. This ought to be our wet season here. Uh, Birmingham has now gone, I believe, 15 consecutive days without measurable rain. Uh, rain amounts about one inch for the north, one half inch for the south, valid through uh, Thursday morning of next week. So let's take a look at this thing. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, one o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Shortwave trough over Minnesota, a ridge here. And again, today, much like yesterday, warm, mid 80s. Here's a look at the high res her at four o'clock this afternoon. You can see those isolated, random, Showers and storms, like a day in June, July, or August. And uh, the best chance of those during the peak of the daytime heating process. Now, tomorrow, a surface front will be approaching from the north, and that will probably bring a little better chance of scattered showers and storms potentially late in the day. Although the high-res NAM, curiously, looks pretty dry tomorrow evening. This is at 7 o'clock. Wouldn't be shocked if we see more activity than that, but we will mention a chance of scattered showers and storms late tomorrow and tomorrow night. Don't expect any severe weather in our part of the state with that. But then Saturday, here's the deal. A broad surface low, 1,010 millibars, not especially deep, is around Memphis. This is 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Let's go to the high-res NAM. Within, we're within range of this 3-kilometer NAM now. It's a model that runs out to 60 hours. So this is Saturday at 1 o'clock. And I think the the bulk of the day will be dry. Now, could there be a shower Saturday morning? Yes, but they'll be pretty widely scattered. But you can see a little band of storms developing over Tennessee and North Mississippi. And that will be increasing and moving through here Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. This is the uh, regular NAM, the lower res NAM, valid Saturday at 7 o'clock. And it's got a band of showers and storms coming on through Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston at that point. Check the severe weather parameters. This is the low-level jet, well under 50 knots. So that doesn't look overwhelming. The instability values are just not that impressive for late April, uh, generally under 1,200 joules per kilogram. The EHI, all under two units. And a forecast sounding for Birmingham Saturday evening at 7 o'clock and Again, the, the, there's no veering of the wind with altitude, suggesting no tornado threat. Wind fields aren't that strong, kind of a saturated sounding. And the possible hazard type, you can see none. So this is what we're putting out there. Uh, chance of stronger storms, we'll say 4 until 10 o'clock Saturday. That's the main window. I guess if you're in extreme northwest Alabama, you might see some as early as, as 3 o'clock. But for most of north central Alabama, 4 to 10 Hail, gusty winds, the tornado threat is low, and that's a good thing. But as always, you got to watch any system here this time of the year. We all know that. Now, Sunday, a noticeably cooler day. We won't make it out of the mid-60s. 
Clouds linger much of the day and maybe some lingering rain Sunday morning. Check the anomalies. Temperatures below average for much of the southern states. Monday should be a day we start the day in the 40s, upper 40s. High will be in the 70s, bright and sunny. Tuesday, sunny and pleasant. And Wednesday, a sunny day. We warm up. We should be in the low 80s by then. And here's a week from today. This is Thursday, the 27th. Troughing over the western states, a surface low east of Denver, but we are still warm and dry. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday the 29th. Pretty impressive looking long wave trough getting close and got a deep surface low pretty far north of us with a band of showers and storms coming in here. And it's way too early to know if there might be a chance of strong to severe storms. It's always possible this time of the year. Look at the temperatures drop off Sunday. The GFS suggesting a high of only 61 in Birmingham. And again, you see those upper 40s Monday and Tuesday morning. But then we warm right back up with highs going back in the 80s for the latter half of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.